Let's face it, grown-ups who are learning to sell face a certain anxiety. What if I screw things up? What if I can't do it? What if I make a mistake and humiliate myself? Well, that's because we're grown-ups. It almost goes with the territory. Grown-ups are supposed to already know stuff. In fact, that's why they pay us, to do the stuff that we already know how to do. Kids are different. They don't know anything. Everything is a learning experience for them. And I think it's a useful instruction, at least it was for me, to spend a couple of days with the junior sailing program of the California Yacht Club here in Los Angeles and see just how they do it starting at age eight. And the first thing I noticed was how much fun they are having, how open they are to new stuff, how unintimidated they are by the fact that they don't already know how to do it. And in the second part of my experience, the CYC competition team, I was astonished to recognize that in 2022, sailing teams, even for junior high kids, are just about as rigorous as high-level club soccer teams were in my own experience with children. These kids are really put through the paces, and their determination is remarkable. And as a longtime sailor myself, I have to admit that the things that coaches were saying for racing to windward in boxy little Optimus prams actually gave me something to work on in competition. So, we're starting out sailing. We should learn from the experts. And the experts in learning things are kids. Alright, so I want to talk about um, downwind sailing, right? So if we're sailing downwind, and the wind's coming from here, yeah. then we're short sure sailing. All the way out. All the way out, all the way out right? And then it's just like spin, 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 spin. I already know. Spin, spin, spin. spin. We're gonna capsize. We're, we're gonna go to the ocean. ocean. We're going out, we're going out so. to open ocean. We're gonna try? Yeah. So with the beginners, what we like to do is take them out on a keel boat and kind of just get the basics of everything, feel the tiller, how strong it is, the main sheet, that kind Usually of thing. Usually start sailing on reefs because it's easier, like, and then like only tacking on the beginning when you're yeah. jiving, so it's safer and easier. How do you tell if they're having a good time? Uh, it's my own phrase. Yeah. That's always a big one. Yeah, yeah. And they're like asking questions and they're super interested, like, oh, what does this do? What, what is that? Like, oh, can I try that? Sawyer, Alec, go to B buoy. Everyone, right? These are the rules of the game, okay? I'm going to throw a tennis ball in the middle. You guys are going to have to pick it up. Pass it around to your teammates, and then one of you has to sail past the buoy to score. So it's just like soccer, okay? Wait, throw it to the teammate? What? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, that one's no sail. Oh, is it? Oh, All right, yeah. and then if you want to steal yeah. the ball from somebody, you have to get close enough to where I say yes, all right? But don't get too close where you hit them. Ready, everyone? All right, three, two, one, go. Yep. And no caution, guys. They got the buoy. Oh, yep, try to get it back. Wait, well, what is the other name of the acid? How do you feel it? You, you can get, get close, close to them. them. You get super close. Wait, guys, if you want to steal the ball, you have to get really close to them, okay? if you hit him. All right, Sawyer, you're scoring over there. Take it! Oh. Come on! Oh my God. Don't let them grab it! Wait, it's stuck! It's on my, my 
Get it. All right, Jack. You have to score over there. All right, Alex, throw the ball. Jack, give the ball to Alec, okay? Because he got so close to you. That's how you steal the ball. Go, 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 go! No, 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 stupid old! Go, 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 go! I mean, they're having fun. I think it's crazy. Yeah. All right. Go, Nathan. Jack got hit in the face with the ball. Are you OK, Jack? Yeah. OK. Sorry. Sorry. Right. Steal back from it. Our goals for the kids is to get them sailing upwind, downwind, and just having a good time, pretty much. Jack. It's stuck on the, the, oh, it's it's stuck on the, on the tiller. Okay. Again. Wait, keep us there when we tie this. Yeah, it's, you got this? Oh, it's going to be great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's why All right, get it, Nathan. That's why I should never Sunbathe yep. on a boat. Yeah. Good point. Oh, oh you gotta wrap it around first. So Sora! Right, so Jamie stole away. the ball! Three, two, one, go! This group of kids have they've been working very hard a couple of them for about like three four years um, training probably on average during the summertime especially about at least like 15 to 20 hours a week and during regular school season every single weekend a couple Fridays and when we have tournaments also sometimes even Thursdays so probably at least 10 to 12 hours a week during normal normal school days Cheat in more. You can cheat in tiny more. With this, with these couple choppy, ch a little more choppy waves, you come back. You don't want it to slam. Then surfing. When you're going down the wave, you you throw your body a little forward. The next two races will be series races. Last two races of the series. These kids have been working very hard. They've been attending most regattas, um, most of the big regattas in the country, and a couple of them international as well. So my goal for them is to definitely to, to obtain good results, but I think above that, just for them to um, get work, work on the things that they have been struggling, especially at a very, very high level, some of them being top in the country. All of the kids in this team, in this team, are in Team USA. I think the mental side is definitely one of the biggest things. If you make one mistake, it's trying to keep your head clear and not let that 
affects all the other decision making and sailing, which, you know, you're dealing with so many different variables at the same time. It's very impressive how long these kids have come. Some of them a year or two ago, you know, could barely sail up win in like a straight line and now very good scores at high level regattas. Uh, I think it's just, it just shows how if you really dedicate yourself to something, anything in life, that, that hard work does pay off. By healing like that, there's less surface area in contact with the water, so it has a lot less drag, so the boats tend to go a little bit faster. And also by having the sail up, pointed up more, there's more chance of the sail filling with more air. Stay in the puff, guys! Stay in the puff! Where's the puff, Jackson? Where's the puff? I can't really see, but I think you pointed the right way. Yes. All right, find a lane. Find a lane. Good pressure here. So what are you gonna tell me? What you're doing is good, but try to be more smooth with it. Love your boat. Love your boat. There you go. Good, good body work. Try to press more on the waves, on the right waves. Yesterday you did a pretty good job at that. You're accelerating a lot when you were going down a wave on the upwind. Alright, good pressure here. I want to see good body work! Good body work! Play with the waves! Tack it clear air! Tack it clear air! Good job, Cooper. Maybe a little tiny bit more Meiji work. Just a little bit. Play with an inch or two. Especially on the puff, puff's coming in. There you go. The dagger board stays up like that because it, it's less drag in the water for the sailors. So just by having a short piece of it will still help the sailor be able to control the boat pretty well downwind. Um, but it's less weight that's being dragged. So the boat propels itself a little. You could probably gain a couple boat lengths from that. And play the left, where the fleet was going on the left. But me and me and, and Alejandro, we were like, oh, okay, like a lot of righties are coming in on the top right there because from the previous race, from the race before. So we kept going. But then we tacked and we got extremely you don't have to win every single race and be the champion. If you can get a two, a three, a four, a six, a one, you know, an eight, discard maybe one race that you had a couple bad calls, like a 15 or a 25, those that do well. Did you see the scoreboard for Worlds? Did you? I, I looked at it, but I didn't really look at it. So, it's all about consistency. Four, 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 six, two, two, one, 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 three, four, seven. He made a bunch of calls and he was like, oh, I want to get an extra little puff there. I want to win the race. But that's not what wins championships, right? So good job. All right, you guys ready for another one? Everyone went out right and I was so far behind. Three, two, one. Lexi Jackson miles over! Jackson, not Cooper! More body! Should I do that tomorrow? 
Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna spend a good amount of time. Well, I don't wanna leave my sail in the shed because it already got ruined by those beginners. These kids are very dedicated. You have to be patient and you know, I think everybody struggles a little bit with that, especially at a young age. You know, they train and they want results, they want to fix their mistakes very quick, but I think one thing that sets this group apart is that they have been patient, they have been working hard, they have been pretty much just doing everything they need to do to be at that very, very high top level sailor. And, you know, it's, it's just a pleasure working with these kids and helping them out and, and seeing the development in them. It, 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 it's shocking sometimes, you know. Sail in, back to the club. Oh, Jesus. So how do you like this sailing thing? Good. What do you like about it? I like that you sometimes just get to cruise through the water. That's all.